All right, so today's interview question is, how do you take a background color that could be any possible color and determine whether or not the text on it should contrast better with black or white text? So we're looking for a difference in the amount of intensity. You want to get really good contrast. Whenever it comes to text on a background, you need good contrast. So how do you determine the intensity? Now, there is a percentage, a series of percentages to use with red, green, and blue. And I know that it can be hard to remember those exact numbers. And if you're into an interview series uh, or an interview situation rather, where they're asking you to do this and you can't look anything up, you're not going to have those numbers. So just to help you, the number 361, use that as your guide to determine. So see if you can, um, generate at least some of the code here to determine what the text color should be based on a background. So I've got a series here where I'm passing in these different colors and I want to find out what the color should be for the text. Should it be black like I have here or white? So FFF, FFF. All right. So I'll give you a second to do that. The solution code, which I'm going to be taking up in a minute, uh, is posted in the link that's down in the description. So that's the full solution here. I'm leaving it uh, just blank like this, just with the, the function and the log. I'll let you write that yourself and see if you can come up with your own solution. All right, so back in a second. Okay, welcome back. So let's talk about the solution. So as I was saying before, we need to determine the brightness and there's a percentage for red, a percentage for green, and a percentage for blue. If you take the actual color, you break it up into its three parts, the red, the green, and the blue, and you multiply by this percentage, the number that you get generally reflects the intensity of that color. And if that number exceeds, now they say 186 is the best number out of 255. If it exceeds that, then we're going to do um, black as the text. If it's less than that, we'll do white. So we want to figure out what that is. Now, this is my reference that I use when I can't think of those numbers, 361. Basically, we're talking about 30% of red, 60% of the green, and 10% of the blue. You add those together, and that'll give you a number out of 255. Then, instead of 186, just take this number, divide it in half, gives you 180, 181. So if it's greater than 181, then we're going to use black, otherwise we'll use white. Okay, so we've got this function. I've got it set up as an arrow function. That doesn't really matter for this uh, bit of code that we're doing here. First thing I'm going to do is I want to strip off potentially any hashtags that are being put in at the beginning here. So we will say that bg is going to be equal to bg.replace the string method and just find any of those, replace them with nothing. There we go. Now, a good thing to do to test this to make sure it's working is uh, check the length of the string. Just if bg.length equals six, great. If it's not equal to six, exit the function. So it's not going to work if we don't have a perfect color being passed in. We're assuming at this point that it is a hex number being passed to us. Now, we need to find out the red the green and the blue portions of this color. And there's different ways that we can determine that. You can use the substring function to extract two characters at a time. That works fine. Slice will also let you pull out two characters at a time, or you can use the bitwise operators. Whatever you do, you're going to need to take the uh, parse int value and make sure that you're telling it when you do parse int that it's base 16 that the number you're getting is. So parse int, <clears throat> pardon me. Okay, we're going to take parse int. We're going to take the whole thing, bg. This is a string right now, but parse int is going to try to extract the numerical portion of that, and we have to tell it that it's base 16. Now that's going to give me the entire number, not just the first two digits. This is why I was talking about the bitwise operators. If you take it and you shift the bits to the right by 16, what you're going to have left is 8. And the way this works is for an RGB value, you've got 
eight bits that represent a number between 0 and 255. That is the red value. Then the green, again, there's going to be eight bits, and there's going to be eight bits for the blue. So we have these three things. Now if I shift it over, 16, that means I'm sliding this number over. Just imagine there's a decimal place here, and as I push this over 16 places, they're all going to be falling off the cliff. And all that I'm going to have left is this first eight, which is the red value. Okay, so there I have now an integer which represents the amount of red. For green, I can do the same sort of thing. We can do parseInt that, it's a base 16. Now here, I only want to shift it over 8, but the problem is if I only shift it over 8, I'm going to be left with all of this. I also need to trim off this part. So what I do is a binary or a bitwise AND operator, just to say I'm taking out these numbers right here. So if I put these in parentheses, and then AND 255, that is going to say give me eight digits wherever there's a one put a one down if it's zero bring a zero down that's what this is going to do and then for the blue all we have to do is this last bit we just have to take the last bit we can take the whole thing and and 255 so parse int bg 16 and sorry and 255 and this will give me the red, the green, and the blue value. Now, just as an example, if you wanted to do it the way with the substring method, you could, we're going to do parse int, and we're going to say it's base 16, and then inside of here, I want to do the substring. I just want to take the first two characters. So bg.substring starting at 0, going up to but not including position 2, this will give me the first two characters converted to 16. And you can do the same thing for the green and the blue, just changing these digits right here. So whichever way you're more comfortable working with, do it that way. The final result is we've got a red, a green, and a blue. Now, once you have the red, the green, and the blue, now we need to calculate the intensity. The intensity is going to be the sum of those three things. So we're going to have a red and a green and a blue value. Now if I just added those three together, what I'm going to be getting is potentially 255 plus 255 plus 255, which is way too much. I need this out of 255. So we're going to multiply times, now we could say 0 0.3, 0 0.6, and that's why I was saying if you just remember 361, this will give you a close approximation, which in an interview situation you can say, I would have to look up the exact numbers, but generally it's close to this. With the exact numbers, it is 0 0.299, 0 0.587, and 0 0.114. That's going to give me the intensity, and with that we can do our if statement. If the intensity is greater than 361 divided by 2 gives me 181, or if you can remember the other number, that's what it is. So if we're greater than that, we're returning black, else we're going to return white. And there we have it. That is our solution. So if we run this now, There's the four values. So with a dark, with a bright green color, that's what the badass is. This will give us black text on that. Khaki, it's a very light color. Again, we get black. Rebecca purple, cornflower blue, those are darker blue purple colors. And we get the white to go on top of those. So that's it. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave those in the comments. I've got a link to the entire interview question playlist down in the description as well. And as always, thanks for watching.